Hey guys, this is part two of G Threads, where we're talking about the big major news about Warp Tour 2017. It is announced last week that they're going to be coming to Wilmington, North Carolina, which is where I live. <laughs> so, for anybody who is in Wilmington right now, they are very super excited about the big rock um, festival of the summer is actually coming to our town. And the place where it's at, you know, it's leaving questions about how successful is this going to be. Well, just know for the fact that I'm in complete support of this. I think it's great. I'm curious about all the stuff, and, you know, it might lead into more encouraging uh, GTV, like, news stories where I might actually, like, go out and try to, like, interview some people about this uh, big event that's coming. But it's July 4th, and uh, it's going to be hot, <laughs> and it's going to be nuts. So it kind of brought me onto thinking about the, the predictions. Who do I think is going to play Warp Tour 2017? And it was a really tough choice because all the ones that I was thinking about play last year. And there's going to be a couple on this list that did play last year that I'm like, well, they'll probably end up playing again this year. And um, you can like, comment, whatever, and post who you think is going to be playing Warp Tour 2017. So here we go. Let's go on with the thing. So in other news... Dealing with this, Ghost Inside was supposed to be headlining this year, and unfortunately, they are not going to be able to play. Speedy recovery, guys, but they were on the number one prediction of the list. We we're thinking, you know, Sharp Tone Records bands like Attila, Miss May I, uh, We Came as Romans, I think all of them are going to be on there this year, which is going to be pretty epic if they do. Uh, Too Close to Touch, August Burns Red, um, Hands Like Houses. If Parkway Drive is not on a super festival route this year, they might come back and play Warp Tour. Um, I'm thinking Inner Shikari, but they were saying a couple years ago that Warp Tour is a little hot. They can't, you know. It's a it's a long it's a long tour. Uh, Story of the Year uh, is another big one that I want to play this year, and I've been seeing that they were playing Warp Rewind, which is a cruise ship thing. So I'm thinking that they'll play. They also said on there, like, Good Charlotte, Simple Plan, and stuff like that. It just depends. I think Simple Plan definitely might be on the run this year. Um, let's see, Amir, uh, The Used, who is my favorite band, which I'm hoping is going to play this year. And with Last for the Liars being 10 years, and they did the 15-year tour last year, they might, I think Warp Tour might be an appropriate thing for them this summer. Uh, Less than Jake, who played last year, they put out an EP. I'm kind of rooting for them to play. I think in Real Big Fish might actually come back this year. Um, New Found Glory, even they played last year, but they're putting out a new album, so they might play. Uh, Siler, uh, Wage War, another one from last year. Old Wounds, last year. Light Moss to Flames, I think might be running up on this year. Uh, Let Live, Devil Wears Prada. Memphis Mayfire, Born of Osiris. Uh, Danger Kids. I Prevail, I think, is a good shot for this year. So is uh, Asking Alexandria, I think, has a good run for it. Uh, 100th, Fit for a King. Uh, Beartooth, I think it will get a main stage slot, but I saw them and the next one I'm predicting is on an Australian tour uh, this summer. Uh, Admitting Me Affliction. Slaves. Dance Gavin Dance is a pretty good run. We'll get some bands like Black Veil Brides, New Year Day. Like We'll get uh, a few of those acts. Uh, Bless the Fall, Water Parks, All Time Low. Uh, we'll get some like DJs, you know, stuff like that. Um, I think Census Fail counterparts have a good shot at going on there. It's it's gonna be pretty interesting because a lot of them that people want from last year, like Story So Far, but I don't think they're gonna be on it. I think Real Friends, Neck Deep, and Knuckle Puck, I think might you know go about it again. Uh, Made a parade. Uh, it's it's going to be pretty uh, interesting, but I'm very stoked that it is coming to our hometown, and it's going to be very, it's going to be a very epic event, regardless of what. But the lineup gets revealed in March, at the very end, I'm assuming, and then the tickets go on sale. So that's all we know for right now, and there'll be more coverage about it in the later future. But until then, guys, this has been a G Thread GTV. We hope you enjoy your day.